Hi, Virgo. So I am so excited to do your reading, and let me tell you why. I just finished doing the Cancer reading, and then as soon as I cleansed the cards, and as soon as I touched your crystal of the month to, you know, bring it closer to me to do this reading, I was like feeling way better. Not to bag on cancers or anything, but their shit's a little heavy right now, and yours isn't. So lucky you. Maybe it has to do with the, the Virgo full moon energy. But this is what we're going to do as far as your reading. We're going to look at the general overall kind of theme for the month, the challenges you're going to face in March, the goals for you to set, like something to work on, the vibes that you're putting out to others. Um, and then we're going to look specifically at finance, your love life, whether you're single or coupled. We're going to look at your personal development or like your emotional states. And then we're going to do your crystal of the month. So one thing that I've been really shitty at doing lately is reminding people that if you want to win a free 20 minute video reading, because I think it's important to do that, to give those away sometimes, because sometimes the need is because of financial problems and then like it's not going to make it your financial situation better, you know, to buy the reading that you need. So anyway, um, I'm giving one of those away free every month and all you got to do is sign up one time to win and you're automatically entered forever. So that's at my website and there's a link below. If you don't care, then I don't care. Whatever. All right, let's do this. Oh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Although Moon sign, I like to watch the most. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get started. Virgo, in general, what does your month look like? Yes! Hell yes! Yes, queen! It is looking like long-term, stable, prosperity, kind of like abundant energy. So the things that you are doing this month can have a very long-term outcome for the better. If you saw the March um, astrology video I put out, it's in the March playlist. This makes total sense, especially in these um, first, oh my gosh, it's 222 as far as like the amount of time into this reading, which is the angel number saying harmony, stability, joy, all culminating into this like sense of balance. So fuck yes, Virgo, you are ha you're going to have an awesome month, especially in regards to things that are real or tangible. If I believe, I believe that last month you guys also had an amazing month, didn't you? Yeah, manifesting like all of these wonderful things. So still paying off for you in March. Hell yeah. Um, okay, so anyway, point is, this is about tangible things, things that last a long time. This would be like the time where potentially you could buy your first home. Like an asset that is long lasting, okay? This could be like a job or a business that um, starts to become more financially secure and stable and predictable. Totally awesome energy. This could also be like um, a marriage type relationship that you come into, that it's, it's long lasting, it's stable, it's secure, it's predictable, it's trustworthy. I am so happy for you. Okay. So anyway, that's the overall feeling. Things are real. They're observable. They're not conceptual anymore. They've come down to earth. Like the things that you were trying to manifest, like you put these ideas out there and now they are observable and they are real. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can taste it. Yes. Okay. Challenges that you might be experiencing or facing in March is indecision. And not because you don't know what to do, because you don't even want to have to think about making a decision, which is kind of annoying. They're like, you're trying to avoid, um, you're probably trying to avoid having to feel a certain way about it because you don't, you don't want to think about things so you don't want to have to feel about those things. But they're like, if you just make the decision, if you just suck it up in, in whatever regard you're, wherever 
because we're not into the meat and potatoes yet of the reading, but wherever that clicked for you, wherever your mind went as to a decision that you'd have to make in March, whether that's in career, in your love life, whatever, that's where I want you to go with this because this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so I'm not going to get more specific than that. But what they're saying is, is you're not going to be disappointed with the outcome. This is a good month for you. So, hey, just make those decisions. The overall goal for you or a lesson, something you got to work through in March is you haven't figured out how to let go of um, the need to control things, okay? If something is not within your control, stop trying to fucking control it, including other people, okay? So this happens a lot in relationships. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. And then I want to give you some cards of uh, just kind of like advice on how to deal with the energies in general in March. And they're giving you two things. Number one, they're saying new adventures this is like a prosperous time, especially because I really think you should go watch that March video because <laughs> um, the especially like the first week, week and a half of March is going to be a good time to start working on projects, to do new things, implementing new ideas, okay, into your life um, in whatever regard, like uh, decluttering your home, like starting an exercise plan, working on, like, doing a new diet, launching your business. Oh, also it's 555 into the reading, so it's saying um, letting go of the past and welcoming in new things, so we're totally vibing with that. Um, but, yeah, this is a really good time to do that. And you definitely want to start it, I would say, within the first two weeks for sure because we have a Mercury retrograde coming on the, I believe it's the 22nd of March. Um, and that is like the shittiest time to start new things. You can continue to work on things that you've already started. Okay. And so, but I'm telling you in those first two weeks, because sometimes the energies of a Mercury retrograde will, you'll start to feel them and experience them a few days before it actually drops. And so when you start new projects in a Mercury retrograde, you run into a lot of um, hurdles, you run into a lot of obstacles, a lot of frustration, whereas if you would have either started it in advance of that or waited until that retrograde passed, it, you'd experience so much more ease. <laughs> so anyway, um, they're saying that you don't need to alter your appearance or your mannerism or uh, your language, anything about you this month. So if somebody's telling you that, tell them to fuck themselves. I get that all the time. Stop cussing so much. Um, find a different tarot reader then because... This is me. I'm not going to change who I am because you don't like it. You can just turn off the video. Whatever. Okay. Um, your finances. What's the general energy for your finances? I think we kind of already know. <laughs> but they're saying things are happening quickly. You could experience like, boom, quick clashes of money. Um, so maybe you did your taxes early and it's like all of a sudden, boom, direct deposit, you're rich <laughs> or uh, richer than you were the day before. Or, um, you know, maybe you get a big contract with your business. Maybe you win a vacation or, or something like that. But generally, things are looking good and maybe, you know, maybe you're a waitress and somebody... Um, is a really easy customer. They ask for a Diet Coke, you bring it to them, and they tip you, you know, $200 because you smiled nicely at them or something, okay? So it's that kind of an energy this month. You can expect that wonderful things are going to happen and just like out of nowhere, boom, overnight. Fantastic. What are your challenges in regards to your finances this month? Coming up with the new ideas. If you don't have any, well then, what are you going to do about it, right? Uh, what is the overall goal for you in the month of March in regards to finances? And they're saying use both your gut instincts, your intuition, as well as your brilliant mind to solve the problems that you have. And then also to get the answers that you need in order to know kind of what to do, what, correct, what uh, direction to go. But naturally... You will be more intuitive this month. Everybody will be because Pisces is in like fucking everything except for the moon. So what do we need to know about your love life for single Virgos? 
Um, don't move in with anyone. Don't even think about it this month. <laughs> like anyone that you might meet. Um, if they are in workplace romances, totally a no, no this month. Um, what else do you need to know? But you know, like little lusty flings. If that's what you want for yourself this month, do it. Worth it. Um, they're saying some of you are not leaving the past behind you, which is what's making it hard for you to kind of walk into a new relationship or to attract it. They're saying, get the fuck over it. <laughs> this is so interesting because the whole theme of the month astrologically is letting go of the old and welcoming in the new. So they're like, move on. Your intuition is telling you that. This little frog here is indicating you need to change. You're going to have a more peaceful state of mind and outcome for yourself. If you do, there's no reason not to get over it. It's already ended. If you want a long-term stable relationship that you can depend on, that is trustworthy, that it's not going anywhere, then this is what you have to do. This is something you've avoided doing because it's hard, because it hurts to release that stuff sometimes, but it is the decision that you have to make. If you are thinking in any capacity this month that you wanna reach out to an ex and you wanna say, hey, let me just give you another chance. I've thought about this. Don't do it. Um, because all this is gonna do is stir up some emotional garbage for you and you're gonna carry it with you every single day in the month of March. You should have never talked to them. We fucking warned you, is what your spirit guides are saying. So if it's somebody new, um, great. Because this is a month where you can attract somebody that's sexy, um, like a passionate, lusty relationship with somebody that doesn't go anywhere, that they stay in your life forever. But... It requires you to move on from the past. Stop thinking about your ex. Don't even think about it. If you need help with that, there's a um, there's a link to a video in the description box below. It's called Cutting Cords of Attachment. It'll help you. Okay, for challenges, I mean, obviously, we've got a challenge <laughs> there for those of you who are still stuck on an ex. What other kind of challenges will you be experiencing? I'm going to switch to X in the month of March in regards to attracting love for single Virgos. Using your ma your imagination, um, embracing and nourishing the creative aspect of your mind in regards to what it is you're trying to draw in, what it is you're trying to attract. You might not have thought about that so much. So get thinking about it. And then the advice on how to do that specifically is to face this problem <laughs> head on of moving on from the past and so you know we're trying not to think about our ex but it's not always that easy just to like walk away from them so the way that you can work through this is to look at what was wrong with the relationship what was wrong with that partner what didn't jive with you why are you no longer together you know did they lie to you so then you're going to try then that's going to help you to get clearer and say you know what i want somebody honest i want somebody trustworthy i want somebody who's um you know, forthcoming with information, who's a great communicator, um, somebody with tons of integrity. That So they're like, you know, get creative with your adjectives, you know, of your positive opposites. They're saying, and then if you're feeling confident about that, and then you're like courageous enough to go out and kind of start looking for it, you will find what you want. Because we have all of this like positive Virgo energy that's just like working in your favor. It makes everything easier for you. Um, in general, I think a lot of people are gonna struggle in March uh, working through their emotions, but like, it's not gonna be as bad for you as everybody else, so good. For those of you who are coupled Virgos, oh shit, I'm gonna leave that one out. But um, how are other people viewing the single Virgos? Like, what vibes are you putting out? to others and they're like that you don't want to invest in others well yeah because you're still half invested in your ex um that you haven't that they're gonna think that you put the past behind you and then realize very quickly that you didn't because you're suspicious and untrusting of them because of that other person sorry i need like a little little gatorade break all this talking makes me thirsty okay um so for coupled virgos what's your deal you're strong, your communication is good with your partner, you have a lot of tact, your relationship is healthy. Uh, what else? You're getting what you want. And you're getting what you want like in um, the short term kind of way. 
because you probably already it's clear to you you're getting what you want in the long term but this could be this could be representative of gifts you know or um like your partner is giving you things that you physically desire uh physically desire like sexually desire too but um like i mean if they, if you had your eye on something for a while and you didn't buy it for yourself they might buy it for you this month or um if you were hoping that they become better at communicating with you they're going to meet your wishes your partner is going to be very invested in giving you things that they think will make you happy this month they're saying like any fear or anxiety that you have about your relationship um is really because you're afraid to receive this is the same deal with cancers i feel like this is kind of an energy that applies to females in general in the month of march we're learning a lesson to be open to receive gifts and blessings from other people um instead of pushing them away and that includes compliments you know somebody says oh, you're so pretty and you're like oh no 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 or i like your top oh this old thing i got it at target for like three dollars um you don't want to be like that, okay? Because it, it lowers everybody's vibration when you do that. Because what you just did right now is you went, oh, um, I'm not worth a compliment. Like, I'm just going to take this positive thing and I'm going to turn it into something shitty and I'm going to make the other person feel awkward too for complimenting me in the first place. When all you have to do is just say thank you. You know, somebody gives you a gift or a hug and you just like enjoy it and embrace it instead of like thank you <laughs> or you know instead of like no 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 no, i don't want that or you know like feelings of guilt for receiving things like i'm an independent woman like i don't need your help um no you don't need it but you say thank you and take it that's the lesson you're learning okay you got anxiety about that with your partner so it, when they're being extra generous you might start to wonder why <laughs> you know um are are they feeling guilty for something? Why are they kissing my ass so hard? Um, cause they love you. Just say thank you. It's not that deep. Don't don't overthink it. Um, what are your specific challenges in regards to your relationship for a couple Virgos? You're not trusting them. You've got to learn how to trust your gut instincts and get out of your head. Be more leading from like the third eye, okay? What is your gut telling you in regards to your partner? Don't second guess their motives. How is your partner perceiving you this month? Oh, the kind of person who needs to be like loved and cherished and spoiled, but also the kind of person who needs their own space. So it sounds like you're gonna get to go do whatever you want and then when you're in their presence, um, really enjoy that. <laughs> Lucky. Um, but they say this energy though isn't going to last forever. So really be thankful and embrace it in this month. Uh, what else? They're like, instead of making judgments and trying to dictate things and question them, kind of move into the background and just watch what your partner is doing. Okay. Um, don't try to control or direct the course of events. Just observe silently and then be open to receive. So that is love. Looking at your personal development or your emotional state in the month of March for all Virgos. We've got, this is a month of enthusiasm, of excitement, of passion, of getting shit done, good ideas, creative inspiration, and it's really going to propel you if you embrace that energy, especially in the first week and a half. Um, it's really going to propel you towards what you want in your life in general. Like it's going to send you in the directions of your dreams, whatever they are, whether those are financial dreams, whether that is like, a, you know, that perfect family, white picket fence kind of shit. I want to show you something actually. I want to show you something about the imagery in this card because I think it's important to point out the difference. Um... So with the chariot that I saw, or I showed you, the little sphinxes that are in the front of the cart are different than the one in the Rider weight deck, okay? Now, why is that important? Okay, so if you notice in both carts, neither one of these people has reins, okay? 
they're not driving it this way. They're going in the direction of their dreams with their positive thinking, with their positive affirmations, like with their vision, okay, with their gut instincts. Um, but in this card, the sphinxes are, or like cats or whatever the hell those are, they're kind of like going in opposite directions slightly, okay? They're laying down and, and they're going sort of in opposite directions. Now, in this card, they're both going exactly straight ahead. They're both going forward, okay? Now, in this card, it's white and it's black. There's no real gray area in between. So these opposite things um, that we're trying to get in the same direction, they're already, op they're, they're still moving, right? But they're kind of going this way. There's no gray area. They're starting to go this way. So imagine that you're like in a carriage, okay? And you've got two horses and they're not like hooked together like they usually are in a carriage. I don't even, I don't know shit about horses, but there's probably a term for it. But anyway, so these horses are like free, okay? One starts running this way. One starts running this way. What's going to happen to your little carriage? It's going to tumble. It's going to crash and burn before you get to the end result with all of these hopes and dreams and wishes that you have been focused on, right? So with that deck, it's going, it requires you to be like a lot more mentally clear. It's going to require you to look at a vision board like constantly, um, it's still going in the right direction, but there's more hiccups associated with it. You have to control yourself mentally in order to go in the right direction a little bit more. But with this one, it's easy. She's not even paying attention. Bitch is looking to the side. Look at that. She's like, what's up, y'all? Yeah, this is me. This is me on my, on my chariot, on my, like, path to amazing things. And they're both going in the same direction. They're not so different right? They're, they're still in the metal family. It's like silver and gold. <laughs> More aligned. You've already put in the work. You've already followed your gut instincts. You've already thought about what you want. You're going in the right direction. You are headed to really beautiful places, Virgos. I, I am so happy for you. Everybody should want to be a Virgo right now. And I am like really in love with myself this minute because my Virgo sign is rising. <laughs> okay. So that's your personal development. Um, what should we focus on? Some of you aren't expressing gratitude enough. So in that regard, for those of you who aren't, you're going to go from this to this. You're still heading in the right direction, but you're going to experience more hiccups and bullshit than those of us who are. And so um, you want to be really thankful for the opportunities that life is presenting you right now. Radiate joy out of that heart chakra, okay? Just like... I am thrilled. I am so happy for all these wonderful blessings um, because it's not going to hurt you to do that. It's not a waste of your time. You can do it mentally even. You don't even have to take the time to write it down. But the more that you do that, the more abundance and wonderful blessings you're going to have and um, the quicker you're going to receive them, right? So that's really awesome. What else? Um, you... So in the spirit of cutting some shit out of your life, this is going to be, they're saying like, this is really important because you're, you're really loyal to people and to situations or, you know, like your job, your obligations, your duties, like the things that you signed yourself up for. But what it's saying is, um, is you're going to be spread too thin when your life is going to start going fast forward, like forward motion, like all these awesome things, like I'm so overwhelmed by all of these amazing things that are coming in. That's how you're going to feel. And so they're like, cut some shit out of your life. If, if it doesn't work for you anymore, let go of it. And don't feel guilty about it either. Okay. Like, oh, I'm so sad. I can't feed all those starving children anymore. Okay. But somebody else is going to step into that place and assume your role, right? Um, you, you can't volunteer at everything all the time, although your uh, philanthropic endeavors are, you know, beautiful. Just now that you're coming into all this money, throw money at it instead of time. Okay? That sort of a thing. Um, anything else? They're like, drama free. Hey. Lucky. So... I want to talk about your crystal of the month now. If you don't follow on Facebook or if you're not um, already set up to receive emails from me from my website, 
you don't have the coupon code, so I would go find it if I were you. But um, this is the crystal that I selected for you in the month of March. It's green calcite, which looks a lot like green fluorite, but it's actually calcite. It's got this cute little, like, I think it's super special because it has this cute, like, little silver stuff on the bottom. I can't tell exactly what that is, but it's adorbs. Anyway, what does the calcite do? Why would you need this? Um, it helps you to be really positive. It gets rid of um, any, like, attachment to angry feelings. It helps you to manifest things very, very rapidly. It deals with your heart chakra, so it gets it all open, helps you to suck that good stuff in. It gets rid of um, old patterns. It helps you to balance out your emotions and your mind because we already know that in the month of March, you're going to try to, like, be more mental instead of intuitive. So this will help you with that energy. It's gonna um, improve your memory, it's going to improve your judgment, it'll make your muscles feel less tired. So many good things. It attracts abundance, I think I said, but it does. So anyway, um, it's funny because I pulled this crystal for you like a week and a half ago, way before I did this reading. I love how things just work out. So this specific one is on my website. If you want it, it comes with, um, like a video playlist on how to use it, tips and tricks. It comes with like a printout that tells you everything you'd need to know about this crystal, like which angels are associated to it, how to care for it, how to cleanse it, how to charge it. Um, if you have children that you're worried about, like they're shrimpy, this will help them to grow as well. So anyway, it's a good fertility stone. So many things. Uh, love and light and see you soon for your love readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!